Hey, how's it going, ninjas? Are you thinking about whether or not to go to film school? I wanted to give some advice uh, about my experiences with film school. So I went to a four-year film school. I got my bachelor's in film and digital production. So I learned film and then I also learned digital. Um, most film schools nowadays are probably not going to be teaching film unless it's something like USC or AFI or NYU. Um, most likely you're just going to be learning digital. Um, so my advice pretty much is that I think film school for the most part is outdated. I don't think there's really any purpose for it anymore. Um, unless you're going to one of the elite film schools like USC, AFI or NYU. Um, basically it's probably not going to be worth it. Um, you're not going to get any connections that are going to make anything worth it to get a job or anything like that. So I went to, and something that you have to keep in, in mind as well, is the tuition might only be about pretty much half of what it's actually going to cost to go to the film school. So while you're in film school, you're going to be shooting short films, and these have a very high cost. You might have to pay actors, you're going to have to pay for the location, you'd have to pay for food for the crew, sometimes extra equipment that you'll need depending on your film. Um, I would say uh, for my first film, I probably spent around $1,000 in film school. And I made about, per the curriculum, it was like five short films. And um, towards the thesis at the end, most people are spending about 15000 So you could say um, everything in between would be somewhere in between. So you're going to be spending a lot of money on just short films. Um, so if the tuition is only 80000 you got to account for it might cost another 50000 to actually go to the film school and succeed, do a good job and make quality films. Um, because if you come out of there with bad films, it's really not gonna be worth it anyway. Um, and if you're not going to a good film school, you're really not gonna get the connections that you're gonna get, or you're not gonna have any ability to get a job after. So um, you can see my work um, in the, the description below, so you can see kind of what, what I'm working with. But basically, um, after film school, I wasn't able to get a job anywhere. Um, the career services really didn't help me do anything. Um, so I ended up starting Ninja Monkey Media. You can get a link to that and see what we've been up to. Um, basically just had to find work myself. Um, this is a big pro problem in the video industry. Basically after Google and after YouTube, most of the information is already out there. So you don't have to go to film school to actually learn everything. Um, you'll be able to pretty much learn everything that I learned in film school off of YouTube. There's really, the only uh, extra addition that you would get is being able to ask a teacher questions. But a lot of times these YouTube, um, YouTube influencers, they'll let you ask questions and things like that. So it, you might not even gain that much of an advantage in that question asking ability. Um, so, I, and, and another thing to keep in mind is that video for the most part, the prices are going down. I see a lot of posts every day about how these video video companies or videography companies, video production companies, were able to charge thirty five thousand um, about ten years ago for certain videos for commercials, things like that, and now they're lucky if they're able to charge thirty five hundred. So this means they really can't hire anybody. So the amount of jobs out there are, are diminishing because these video production companies are getting smaller and smaller. They're getting rid of people. They're they're hiring people just on a case by case basis. There's less people actually on staff. So if that's what you're looking for, for a full-time job or something consistent, this really isn't the industry for you. Um, this is something that has to be uh, something that you have to do, that you, it's not really a choice, that you, this is a passion. Um, basically for me, it's something that I can't stop doing. This is w the only thing that I'm good at. Um, and it's pretty much something I have to keep pursuing. So that's why I went to film school. But if you don't have that kind of uh, need to be a filmmaker, there's really no need to go to film school. You could learn most of what you need from this YouTube channel and other YouTube channels out there and then just ask questions around and you're gonna be pretty much um, working for free in the beginning. That's another problem with the industry as well. They're, the pay is very low. Um, you're pretty much gonna be getting minimum wage. You're gonna be getting this, the same um, amount of money that someone would be making at a McDonald's or something like that. So you're paying basically 100000 to go to school to make as much as someone that's working at McDonald's. It doesn't really make much sense if you think about it. Um, so it has to be very much a passion. Um, that's pretty much the, the, the advice that I wanted to give. Um, if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Um, and I'll be releasing my next video on Monday. And that's going to be how to do multicam editing. All right. See you all later. Bye.